When I first heard the name Katana Zero, I said, meh, it sounds pretty generic. It's a pixel art game. It's an insta-kill Hotline Miami inspired game. It's just another indie game trying to find a foothold on a platform that is stuffed full of games like that. And then I heard someone mention Celeste in comparison. And instantly I went, whoa, 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 I've got to check this out. Cause you know how much we love Celeste here at Switch Force. So I had a chance to go hands-on with Katana Zero at PAX East and I said, okay, this could be something special. It has a lot of potential. It's made by one dude. It's got an interesting premise. It surprisingly does have a lot of parallels with Celeste despite being in a different genre. And now that I've played through the full preview build, which covers about a third of the game, let me tell you, Katana Zero is instantly one of the best eShop titles on Nintendo Switch. And that may sound like hyperbole, but we're just on a roll here. We are tapping into a really good set of indie titles as of late. And Katana Zero may be cream of the crop. It is a pixel art game. It is an insta-kill combat game inspired, I'm sure, by Hotline Miami. But it's so much more. Katana Zero is cool. It is edgy, it is intense in just about every way. And typically, words like that would rub me the wrong way. It would be brash and obnoxious and not something I'd want to spend time with. And yet, Katana Zero is curated in such a way that every element, the music, the graphics, the storyline, and the gameplay itself are all marvelous. It is cool in the best sense of the word, and it just gets better and better the more and more I progress. It's exciting because like Celeste, it's not just a game that handles gameplay with expert precision. It's also a game that has really cool art, an amazing style, and a deep story that is intriguing, engaging, and complements the gameplay in a way that few titles are able to achieve. This is definitely a special experience, but at the end of the day, fun is the currency that I gauge most critically. And Katana Zero is just straight fun, moving around as the dragon, taking down rooms of enemies and planning carefully, only to fail and have to rewind and go back to the beginning and do it again. There's something about games that force you to replay levels over and over. They have to nail it. They have to nail it, otherwise that repetition is a drag and that repetition is something that quickly leads to a pause and eventually leads to a shut off. But here, with a small yet powerful moveset, a sword slash, a jump, a roll, the ability to pick up and throw, and, might I add, the ability to slow down time. You're moving from level to level, busting down doors, slicing down enemies, deflecting bullets, and making sure you have just enough ammunition to eliminate everyone before they can get even one strike on you. There is such a satisfaction in finding the perfect run. Sometimes you'll even do it accidentally, and in a way that's almost better, when you go and slice this guy, slow down time, deflect this bullet, pick up this bottle, smash that dude, grab the grenade, send everyone scurrying, and then slice and dice in stealth, and it all works perfectly. But I'm tough to please, and there are a number of games that do the whole Hotline Miami shtick real well. So it's great that that's excellent, but what else does Katana Zero have? Thankfully, it has so much more. Because outside of this really polished gameplay, there's one, a ton of variety. You'll start off in warehouses, eventually make your way to prisons, dance floors. There's even, and goodness gracious, it was a joy to behold. There's even a Donkey Kong minecart inspired level that blew my mind. And outside of that variety, there's this storyline that I mentioned that is reminiscent of what Celeste did, where it took a platformer and said, hey, we can still tell an important tale via this kind of gameplay. And this one is even more complex. There's clearly something very strange going on with your past, and it's evidenced by your therapy sessions after the killing. It's evidenced by your character's conflicted emotions as you choose dialogue options. They've got this really sweet system where you can interrupt other characters, but it may eventually lead to a negative outcome. And you also have dreams, nightmares, and strange glitches in the system that are clearly hinting at something bigger and more dastardly than just a samurai going through and slicing down bad guys. It's a game where you're rarely confused. The challenge is in your own dexterity and skill. You'll see what you need to do. You'll figure out quite fast what you have to accomplish. It's just making sure your fingers, your eyes, and your mind all work together to do the trick. And there's been some levels that I get through first blush, and that's fantastic. 
And then there's some that I accidentally beat, and that's also fantastic. And then there's some that take me 10, 20 tries, and yet again, that's also fantastic because of how smooth and fair everything feels. If the controls were wonky, if it felt like you got shot when you shouldn't have, if it felt like you did hit him, but the game didn't respond, mm, that would be frustrating. But everything works here, and whether you are moving through floors of a hotel, creeping through the dance floor, or riding in that dang Donkey Kong-inspired minecart, that level is just... Katana Zero, it's, it's the best. So it's got my hands engaged as I enjoy these levels that are sometimes bite-sized, but sometimes also a little bigger, and you'll have to rewind through 8, 9, 10 foes if you don't execute perfectly. Yet the trial and error is so much fun because of how precise the controls are, and because of how specific the moveset is. It's also got my mind engaged with this intricate storyline. I don't really know what is going on. There's a little girl that waits outside my apartment and strange VHS tapes are arriving at my house. But it also has my senses engaged because visually this is a neon pixel blitz and it's beautiful. The music is fantastic. Your hero puts in headphones at the start of every level and you get to hear the soundtrack to his murder. Now that sounds a little intense, but the tracks are very fitting and they ebb and flow with the ebb and flow of the game. I'm a really straight faced gamer. I don't cry with this kind of media. Good music is cool, but quickly forgotten. So the fact that I'm bouncing my head along with these tunes and having audible excitement during the most intense moments, it's special to me and it speaks volumes to the design of this game. I will note that this game is intense. I mentioned cool. I should also mention edgy. There is a lot of language, a lot of blood, and some pretty messed up scenarios. Where Celeste was a heartwarming tale of overcoming personal obstacles, the obstacles in Katana Zero are drugs, blood, and torture. It's honestly kind of impressive that they're able to pull off such a nasty tale while keeping it genuine and fitting. Where Celeste was a heartwarming tale of overcoming personal obstacles, the obstacles in Katana Zero are drugs, blood, and torture. It's honestly kind of impressive that they're able to pull off such a nasty tale while still feeling genuine and fitting. Because usually, games are edgy to their own detriment. And I honestly expected a storyline about honor or getting your girlfriend back, so it definitely was a surprise. But it's actually really cool to see a game echo the storytelling vibes of Celeste, but in a totally different thematic spectrum. I'm looking for flaws here, and I expected repetitiveness to be one, but I've been really impressed with the variety. I will mention for a third time, the minecart. Or maybe the story being a little bit corny, yet the dialogue choices here and being able to have impact on an already intense and engaging plot, that's so cool, especially for a game in this style. How often are you choosing your character's responses and interrupting and straight up pissing off other characters in a side-scrolling pixel art title? The game took six or so years to develop, and it really shows, as Katana Zero oozes mastery, something very few indie games are able to put forth. It gets pacing so right, you'll go from six rooms of kill, 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 to one where you're just witnessing the messed up stuff that's going on in this world. And then you'll return to your apartment, drink some tea, watch TV, fall asleep, have a nightmare, visit therapy, open up a new dossier, and get right back at it. But the way that this game pushes you from intensity to intensity, all in different styles, some are with the sword and some are with the mind, it's a very engaging experience, one that I didn't want to put down. And with games that we love, all of the phrases are cliche. I, I couldn't stop playing, I didn't want to put it down. Let me get a little more granular. While I don't know that this is better than Celeste, the fact that I would elevate it up onto a similar mountaintop as Celeste should tell you everything you need to know. Katana Zero is a must-play game, and unless it goes completely haywire in the back half, I think it's going to end up being one of the best eShop games, and maybe even one of the best Switch games. It just does so much so cool. And it's very rare that a very cool game is also a very great game, but when those two things merge, you have something very remarkable, and I cannot wait to see the rest of it. So, whew, from thinking the game sounded generic and not even looking at a screenshot, to hearing the word Celeste, being intrigued, and now being floored 
I cannot wait to play the rest of it. We'll have a full review when the game drops later this month. In the meantime, let us know your take on Katana Zero in the comments down below. If you're pumped for the game and enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. It helps us out a lot. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. This is a special one. And for myself and Katana Zero, Switch Force, out.